Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic binary fission. So what is binary fission? Binary fission is nothing but a mode of reproduction which is followed by bacterial cells. This is a type of asexual reproduction. Why? Because it does not involve the fusion of male and female gamete. So it is uniparental. So let's look what is binary fission. Binary fission is one of the most common met methods of multiplication which is followed by the bacterial cells. But this can only happen under favorable conditions. What do we mean by favorable conditions? That means if the conditions like pH, temperature and all other environmental factors are in the optimum range that is a good range then only this type of reproduction can take place. Now, because of binary fission, a bacterium divides into two equal daughter cells. So how this happens, we will be looking into in the next slide. Nucleoid or the bacterial cell, it replicates while it is in a attached position to the daughter chromosomes. To understand this process, we will look into a diagram. So this is a parent bacterium. We see the, it has got a double stranded circular DNA. Please take a note, double stranded circular DNA. This replicates and cell elongation takes place. Replication means the doubling or the duplication of the existing uh, DNA. So it has replicated, two copies are formed, we are, as we are seeing one, two. These two copies have formed. After this replication process, it is followed by and also cell elongation and we can see that from the parent, if we compare with the parent cell, so this cell is elongated, its volume and mass also increases. After this, it is followed by a septum formation that is a membrane forms in between these two and it, because of this membrane formation, it pulls apart these two and separates and these uh, two replicated DNA, they try to move towards the opposite directions. This is followed by double layer cell wall formation and after this a complete, uh, complete separation happens and it results into the formation of two daughter cells. Let's take a deeper look into this process. Bacterial chromosome replicates while it is attached to the mesosome. So here we are seeing so this bacterial cell it is attached to the plasma membrane with the help of mesosomes. During this process the replication takes place. After this, mesosome will also develop, new mesosomes obviously is going to develop because the cells are also replicating. Membrane grows between the these two mesosomes. So we have discussed that a membrane will be formed, that is the septum formation will happen in between these two mesosomes. Centripetal constriction in the cytoplasm will take place. What do we mean by that? The cytoplasm of these two portions will try to constrict inside or uh, centripetally, right? So all the cytoplasm, the cytoplasmic content will move in uh, to opposite directions. So after this, a double wall deposit will be formed in the middle. Double wall deposit, as you can see over here, it is formed. It will later on develop into the cell wall. The daughter cells develops terger and separates, right? So what do we mean by this? After division, after this happens, before it divides, the cells will divide, its volume will increase, the cytoplasmic content will also increase. So because of this increase in volume, mass and all the components of inside the cytoplasm, it will develop tremendous turgor pressure inside it. Because of this turgor pressure, these two cells will divide and form into two new daughter cells. After this, what happens? Now uh, these cells can be called as immortal. Why? So you can see this is the parent cell. It was a single cell. It is divided into two new cells. Now if I ask you a question, did this cell die? The answer is no because we see the parent cell, it has uh, divided its content, cytoplasmic content as well as the DNA into two daughter cells equally. So there is no death for this cell. Hence these cells, cells can be called as immortal cells. But however, there is an exception. The death of these type of cells can only occur because of some environmental conditions, unfavorable environmental conditions. For example, toxic agents, if uh, the pH uh, or the temperature rises more than that can be tolerated by these type of cells. So these environmental factors as well as infection 
by virus. So viral infection can also kill this type of cells. So in this video, we have talked about back, uh, type of reproduction which is binary fission. We have also discussed how this binary fission happens and we have uh, discussed an important point that why these cells can be called as immortal cells. So I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.